Hey guys, Adam here. Today we have a video going over the Retina display as well as the graphic and gaming performance on the brand new iPad 3rd generation. Now the iPad 3rd generation actually has a Retina display and that's honestly the main selling point to the new device. So it has a 2048 by 1536 screen resolution which is absolutely insane for a device like this with a 9.7 inch display diagonally. So that's a 264 pixel per inch screen density or pixel density, which is awesome, and that is definitely Retina by Apple standards. And some of you guys may argue that it's not Retina due to the fact that it doesn't have the 300 pixels per inch that Apple originally said was Retina. However, the device will be held a lot further away from your eyes, which is what Apple described about in their keynote, making this device a Retina device and having a Retina display. Alright, and now I'm really close up with the Retina display on the iPad 3, and hopefully you guys can see it to its fullest potential. Unfortunately, it's through a camera, and I don't have a macro lens or anything, so I'm sure you guys can't see the Retina display perfect. However, hopefully you can see it somewhat, and you guys can see that really there's no pixels to be shown here. I mean, I'm looking at the device in real life, and you can't see any of the pixels. So I'm really impressed with the Retina display on the iPad 3. I don't think it's as big of a deal to have a Retina display on the iPad as it is for the iPhone. However, I think it definitely does make a really nice and solid upgrade from the iPad 2's display, which was not Retina at all. And of course, uh, this is Retina now, and it's really looking nice. Alright, and now let's go to the second part of this video, which is on the Apple A5X chip, which is the new chip that's powering the iPad 3. Now, this chip is a dual-core CPU chip, so it has a dual-core CPU on the iPad 3. However, the graphics are now quad-core, so what that means is that you guys will be able to get a lot better graphic performance on the new iPad. And I did want to show you guys this cool little section in the App Store. If you go to the Feature tab, there's now this new uh, little advertisement here. Great apps for the new iPad and these are all the different Retina display apps that were updated to support the iPad 3's Retina display and I did purchase one I purchased an application over here which is uh, Real Racing 2 HD and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the graphic performance keep in mind this is an application made for the iPad 2 so it's probably not using the A5X graphic upgrade to its fullest potential however hopefully there will be really graphical intense games being released in the next couple months for the iPad 3 so this game is $2.99 I believe if you want to pick it up yourself. Really nice game. Alright, let's get this little video and get to the actual, uh, you know, gameplay. Alright, and here we go. I'm going to go ahead and go to a quick race. And let's begin. So I kind of have it on the automatic mode where I just control with the accelerometer and uh, the accelerator is automatic. I can brake if I want. Um, and here we go. The race is now starting. I have the uh, GTI here. So hopefully you guys can see how great the graphics actually are with the iPad 3. And of course it's really hard to control this through uh, you know the camera at all while I'm recording myself. Uh, but hopefully you guys can get a little uh, look at the graphical performance on the iPad 3. It looks really, really nice all together. The game looks really smooth, and I'm sure it, it looks better in real life than through the camera. Uh, I know I can't really show too great through the camera the graphical performance, but, you know, you can trust my opinion. It looks really, really nice. Anyways guys, that's just a quick video on the iPad 3, the iPad 3rd generation's Retina display, as well as the graphical and gaming performance. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like rating down below and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And thanks all for watching.